space in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, basically, it's this place where you pay $100 a month to go in there. First come, first serve, there are about 24 desks. And so it's kind of a, it's a place where I've written my last three books. So I've been there for a while now. And, uh, you know, I get kind of superstitious about which table I get. Um, and the reason that I like my table is because you're not allowed to bring food in there, but nobody can see me in that desk. So I think it's going in every day. It's beautiful. Okay. Where do you get your ideas for your books? So usually my ideas come from real life. So I just steal from everybody I meet. So I'm planning on taking the way you said my name and putting it into a book. <laughs> um, now I, I love to steal from people I meet on school visits, and usually from people that are, are family members or friends growing up. My biggest thing is that I love to write about people growing up in poorer neighborhoods and uh, people with less opportunities, because I think their lives are just as important and as beautiful as anybody else's. Who designed your book covers? Interesting question. Uh, it's this, this really nice woman that I can't remember her name. <laughs> God, she's so nice though. But my favorite story is my most recent book. It's called I Will Save You. And that cover, um, they couldn't figure out how to, to do the cover. They tried about four different options and none of them worked. And finally they went on Flickr.com and they found this Turned out it was a 14-year-old girl living in a very, very poor town in Mexico. So she is now, she, she took a picture of her friend at the beach, and that became my cover. So that's kind of a cool story. So what are you working on now? I just finished a book called The Living, and The Living comes out next year, and it's, it's about similar characters that I always use, working class characters. Uh, one of them, his name is Shy. He works on a cruise ship. The big earthquake hits California that's been rumored for forever, and I kind of grew up under the umbrella of that because I grew up in California. And uh, he doesn't know if his family's still alive or not, he's kind of stuck out in the ocean. So that's my newest book, it comes out in 2015. That sounds very interesting. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. You were amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Mary Alice Walsh, reporting from the Phoenix Public Library from Unbooked.